Hello everyone, my name is Helen. I am currently studying Mandarin Chinese and I want to uh, show you an app called Duolingo. I'm sure you all heard of that um, and how it helped me learn how to uh, write and remember characters and also recognize them and how I use Duolingo as a study tool. Um, and I'm going to go into all of that. I think uh, Duolingo um, as a study tool, not a learning tool, but a studying tool and a memorizing tool. Memorization tool is actually a very good app for that. Is it the best app for learning Chinese, uh, Mandarin Chinese? Is it, yeah, is it the best app? Probably not. I know that there are apps and websites out there that teach uh, Mandarin better than Duolingo, but I've never tried any, so I can't uh, give my uh, word on uh, other apps and other uh, softwares that um, teach Mandarin. The thing I know is that Duolingo is there's a paid version and a free version and um, if you yeah you can do the free version and that's what I'm doing. For the paid version um, you get unlimited lives so everyone has like five lives and then if you make a mistake you will lose a life and then yeah. There are also ads on the free Duolingo app, but I'm okay with that. So yeah, I'm gonna get you know, all into that in this video. And one more thing, disclaimer here, um, everyone is different. So what works for me may not work for you. So just take this like um, video and this like sort of like a review, um, uh, take it as a grain of salt uh, because once again, everyone's different and you're studying um, you're learning, um, what do you call it? Learning styles, it may be different from mine. So yeah. So this is my own opinion and my own like yeah, personal opinion, but I think that you should learn uh, all of the pinging first before you start writing any character. Um, yeah, learn the pinging first um, and I'll explain what you have to learn um, in the pinging. And also I would say to learn the HSK one characters some or all or most of the hsk1 characters like wo the ni uh chi fan and stuff like that it's going to be very helpful in writing when you start writing your characters and also you have to be able to recognize them um in a large um like a let's say you have like a piece of Chinese text, you are able to recognize that oh, I can see wo here and wo there, and then he, and you map out the places where you can see wo and ni and chi and all the all those other like HSK one words. Mm -hmm. Now let's say you are on a higher HSK level. Let's say you're at HSK four, for example. Um, that's perfect or like even higher than that because you know you will be able to recognize more words than one in HSK one like level one would know and so um, I think it will be easier for you and you can start writing how to like learn how to write characters at any level um, but I I feel like my personal opinion um, that you should recognize the HSK one word so you just have a grasp on like how the characters are like you know before you start writing them if you understand what i mean mm -hmm. so what is pinging pinging is a romanization system to help uh, people learn chinese better and stuff um there's also chewing chewing i'm not i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right but that is another um, romanization system there are many systems in the past but um yeah Anyways, we're learning pinyin um, romanization system because that's the, I think that's the only system that Duolingo supports. And also, uh, not only that, I think Duolingo also only supports like simplified Chinese. So yeah, just keep that in mind. So what do you have to learn in pinyin? Well, you have to learn the all the initials and all the final. Essentially, what the initials are is like the beginning part of the pinging word like yeah and then the final is like the ending part of the uh, pinging word okay so I'll, I'll show you an example here so this is tian tian and that's like one like one character okay 
and so the sound the sound of the character. Okay, so there is the initial was which is t t is the initial is a t sound. Okay, and the final is a yin yin in the first tone yin t yin tian tian. Okay, yeah. So that is um, it could be like a uh, tian like. 今天，今天 ，which is、uh, I think today. Yeah, today. And then the tones you also have to recognize and、um, say the tones correctly. And I'm gonna do that right now. Every Chinese character will always, always, always have a final. Okay.、Um, most characters will have an initial, but some won't. For example, um, like um. 颜色，颜色 I think is color. Okay, and 颜 it does not have a、uh, does not have an initial.、Uh, same with 饿，饿 that's hungry. That does not have an initial either. But most of them,、uh, most of the characters in the Chinese language will have an initial and a final. You must learn all the initials and all the finals, and you must learn the four tones. Which I'm going to say right now. So I'm going to use ah、uh, to pronounce the tones, like the four tones. So the first tone, ah.、Uh, second tone, ah.、Uh, um, third tone, ah.、Uh, and fourth tone, ah.、Uh. Well, how I learn and how I say the tones in like in real life, if I'm not filming and stuff, I would say ah 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 ah. Ah 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 ah, and you can also put an initial in front of that final. So ah 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 ah, mo mo ah mo ah ma, mo ah 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 ah, mo ah ma. Obviously, I'm a Chinese learner. My tones and my pinyin is not going to be correct. Probably really incorrect. So I'm going to leave a、um, uh, video of a native Mandarin speaker speaking all the tones.、Um, so you can check the video、um, down below. Yeah, I think you should learn from a native Mandarin speaker and not from a Chinese learner like me. Let me just tell you how important it is and how crucial it is to learn the initial, the finals, and the tones of the Mandarin language, like the Mandarin Chinese language, because without them, you are going to have such a hard time to pronouncing, like the、uh, characters and the words of the Chinese language,、um, like the Mandarin、um, words and characters. So please, please, please learn the pinyin、um, correctly, also. And now you are ready to learn how to write Chinese characters using Duolingo. Duolingo is not your central learning hub. It's just one of your tools that you use to learn Chinese and learning how to write Chinese. It should not be your central learning hub. So recently, if you didn't know,、um, Duolingo changed their format of the app. So all your courses now have like a linear. Like kind of pathway instead of the old uh, format, uh, which had a more of a like a、um, like a block of things that you can learn, and then the next block, and then the next block. But right now, it's a little bit more of like a a pathway, and a lot of people or most people are not really happy with that. So now with the new format, there are units, and I'm not sure if. It was this was an old feature because I haven't been using Duolingo for a long time. I just started like my streak number is like forty something right now, so I've been only using Duolingo for a month, and yeah, that's not pretty. Like that's not long at all. So there are fifty seven units in the Chinese course, and、um, different languages have different. Um, uh, like number of units, but in the Chinese course, there's only fifty、um, seven, and I think I, I I didn't count like exactly, but I think there's like twenty four lessons about more or less、um, lessons in one unit. Each unit will have a set of words, not words, characters, a set of characters that you are going to learn. And、um, yeah, you will learn them, and you will memorize them, and、um, 
yeah and hopefully you remember them at the end of the unit now as you progress through your units let's say you're on unit three right now um the set of characters that you learn from unit one and two will add it to your unit three characters so here's an example so let's say you're in unit three right now and you've learned these unit one characters unit two characters now you have a new set of characters that you are going to learn in unit three but they also add the unit one characters and the unit two characters to your unit three learning so i think that's brilliant sort of i don't know because you're not only reviewing the old characters but you're also learning the new ones so where do i learn the stroke order of the characters because i know there is a specific stroke order that you have to follow um is there such thing on the app like the duolingo app no unfortunately you have to go and look at external sources i have an app and a website that i would like to recommend to you so the app is called Pleco, and I will leave it in the description box down below so you can check it out if you don't know what it is. But Pleco is basically a Chinese dictionary as well as a most words have like um like the stroke order. We can play like live stroke order, so you can play and you can yeah. And they also have sentences and other characters that that other words that that character is in. So it's very very. Um, helpful and useful and I will do a review on Pleco like the free version and the second uh, resource is um, written Chinese I will also leave it down below in the uh, description box it's basically uh, like Pleco sort of um, it also uh, shows you the stroke order like live and also um, they also show you like the radicals and components of that that um, character is made out of and I think uh, Pleco does that too I think so these two apps uh, can help you um, learn the stroke order what if I want to learn new characters um, that I find like in C dramas or like on YouTube and stuff but they're not in the the, the set of characters in Duolingo what, what do I do then well obviously you learn them and yeah because duolingo is just a tool for you um it's just uh, something to guide you through your chinese learning it is not strict and it's very flexible like if you can learn other words go ahead learn them um search them up on pleco or written chinese and try to uh, put them into sentences because that's also another uh, way to remember them like for example for me, I learn "pingguo," "pingguo," which is apple in uh, Chinese, and "pingguo," um, "pingguo" was not in the set of characters in Duolingo. But I still wanted to learn it because, you know, in English, like um, one of the first words you learn is like apple because like A is for apple, B is for like whatever. Um, yeah, so I really want to learn it, and I could make a lot of sense in sentences with the word apple like 我吃苹果 like I eat an apple or 我喝苹果汁苹果汁 oh, I'm, I'm totally um, butchering that but um, I drink apple juice put them into sentences like 我吃苹果 and keep on writing that what I mean is that you should uh, write 我吃苹果 lots of times so that your brain can remember how to write uh, 我吃苹果 and yeah so can I learn other characters can I learn more characters yes yes you can you may learn as much as you want to but you have to learn like the minimum of uh, characters that you have to learn in each unit is the set of characters that they present you with and then the maximum could be as much characters as you can handle what i mean is that you will have to memorize them remember them and know how to write them um, singly as one character and together uh, with other characters to form a word or a sentence mm. for me i always prioritize the set of words and then i 
when I'm watching like sea dramas, for example, or any I'm walking down like Chinatown and I see this word and then I take a picture of it and go on、um, Google Translate and like you know find the 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 simplified version of that word and stuff like that, and then learn the word and yeah. The minimum is the set of words, and th- those are the words that you should learn. Also, in Duolingo, if you reach like la- unit five or like unit six, you will start learning places, and places could be a bit tricky because they have like characters that you probably don't even know. For example, okay, I'm going to give you an example. Um, New York, New York. This is New York. Okay. Now I have no、um, relation, or I have no purpose of learning New York. So I really don't really need to learn that、um, the characters for New York. Okay, I'm totally butchering this. But if you are living in New York City or like the New York State, obviously you will. Um, you might want to learn New York, New York. For me, for example, I live in Ottawa, Canada, and so I would、uh, I would learn Wu Tai Wa. But Wu Tai Wa, like Ottawa, is very is a very tricky、um, like Wu is a very tricky character to、uh, write. So unfortunately, I will not be learning Wu Tai Wa. I will be only saying it and、uh, writing the pinyin. I'll Get to that、uh, later on in the video, but there's also another city that I also learned is, uh, uh, what's it called? London, London for London. Okay, now if you are living in London, you should also learn this. Um, London is actually a very easy, uh, not easy. It's a very, it's a easier character to learn, uh, uh, compared to Wu Tai Wa, and um, London. We also have a, a London in Ontario, um. So we could also, I mean, I could also use that. And London, Lun is also in Toronto. So anyone living in Toronto, you should also、um, learn your city's name in uh, Chinese. Uh, it's Duo Lun Duo Duo Lun Duo Lun is also in London. So that's how I,、um, you know,、uh, take characters and match them with other characters. And yeah. It's also in my character Chinese character trees that I make, and I'll talk about that probably in another video. But、um, it's just like、um, that character, that one character like Lun. What other characters can I make with、um, the radicals components or、um, w- words can I make? So Lun, Lun Dun, Duo Lun Duo is one of the other characters. I mean, one of the other words that I can make with the character Lun, and yeah, I think that's. That's very helpful.、Mm-hmm. So, a little summary of all the places that are in the Duolingo app. For example, like London, Ontario, London, England, New York City, New York State,、um, Toronto, and Ottawa. And there's also、um, England and、um, Canada in the U.S.、Um, and obviously China. I will make another video of、uh, how I learn. To write characters and how do I remember characters using Duolingo specifically? And I'm going to show you some exer- exercises、um, that I do to、um, get, like, take advantage of the app and get the most out of the app. And、uh, let me just reinstate that Duolingo is one of your tools, and you should have other tools. In your tool set to help you learn Chinese, okay?、Um, there could be websites, there could be apps, softwares,、um, so many like social media and like、um, language exchange partners to real life、uh, partners that you can、um, exchange your language with. There are so many tools and resources, and Duolingo is one of your tools, and it should not be your central. Hub of learning Chinese. I mean, that's just what I, my opinion is. You may think differently, but、um, yeah, that's just my opinion. So please take this whole video、um, with a grain of salt. I really want to make more videos about the Chinese learning experience and my tips and tricks for learning Chinese、um, because I'm struggling as well. 
um, and I really need some advice and some guidance too. <laughs> um, and I hope that this video um, helped you a little bit or a lot. Personally, I love, love, love writing the characters, like the Chinese characters, because um, I think there's so much joy in writing them. And at first, when I first started learning um, learning Chinese, the first thing I, what, the first thing that I wanted to do is to write the characters, but I knew that wasn't very plausible for myself. But naturally, I did learn how to write a fair amount of Chinese characters, um, like a year ago. But I forgot them all because I stopped for like at least six months, and I did not write Chinese for six months, and I I lost all that knowledge. The only four words that I I I knew how to write. Um, that I still had a memory of writing is 我, 一, 二, 三, and 四, five words. Anyways, I do think that um, learning how to write Chinese character, you have to practice it every day and not skip the day. You have to consistently practice and improve yourself. It's, it's a very, um, it takes a lot of work on your mental state. Um, yeah, because you you remember like what stroke comes next, what what's the next like you know, yeah it's just and am I like confusing this character with this other character like what what I just love writing the characters I I love the process of writing every stroke and like when you wrote a sentence or something it's just it's so fulfilling and I love it so much yeah. And I hope that um, people who are interested in writing Chinese will be able to write some Chinese um, after you do a few Duolingo units because it's just, it's so fulfilling and I wish that everyone could um, like feel this type of joy. Obviously everyone is different and not everyone will uh, feel this, uh, this amount of joy um, when writing characters and that is okay. If you are stuck and you don't know where to start, I think this is a great starting point. And if in the future you don't want to use Duolingo as a app to help you write Chinese, that's okay. But I think just starting, um, Duolingo is a great app. Like this video, subscribe to my channel to get notified when I post a new um, learning Chinese video. I will talk to you all later and hit the bell notification to get notified. Bye!